Hey guys, welcome to another Brood War ladder cast. I've got uh, something a little special here today. It's Sunday. We're going to do a little fun day cast here with Shao Shuai spawning in the bottom right hand corner. His opponent, Wave, at the top right. Now, I don't know anything about Wave. I know a little bit about Shao Shuai. He's a Chinese player, little, handsome, and. You no, know, he's a very strong player. He's uh, above 2400. Wave is also like right around 2400 as well. So this is an S rank Zerg v Zerg match with a long game timer here. So I'm very interested to see. I like checking out long ZVZs. Long ZVZs, I feel like is the least figured out area of Brood War. Um, everything else has been, of course, over 25 years really figured out and practiced and and played out many 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 times but if you go ahead and search on ladder for zvz's that last over 30 minutes there's like one or two a month it's very very rare for a zvz to go uh long so it's always interesting to see you know when the players are thrown into kind of uncharted waters what they end up pulling out because like I said, everything else has been figured out. We kind of know, you know, what does TVT look like in the very late stages? What does PVP look like in the very late stages and all the other matchups? But ZVZ, what does it actually, what is it supposed to look like? What is the proper composition? What are we actually supposed to do? Um, It's not exactly clear. So I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and take a look at this. I might speed up por portions of this video just to, you know, get through it it is quite long and um you know maybe some parts might be quite boring it all depends man i don't know what's gonna happen in this game but i'm i may end up speeding it up uh at some points now we had the pool here from wave and he's popped one drone off of the gas i think this is a nine pool pretty pretty typical nine pool speed and uh it's some sort of uh, over pool here. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. We know that it's not going to end right off the bat though, so I'm not too concerned about it. We do have the links coming up here and it looks like we're, we'll need a drone defense. Yeah, it was some sort of like 11 pool or, or 11 hatch, excuse me, something like that. He's going to pull almost every drone, all but two to try and fight this. Let's see how this goes. Okay, nice target there on one of the drones. He's not actually fighting the drones with all of his links, which I would think would be the best, but he actually kills one uh, Ling right as it pops out, which is pretty good. Nice drone drill there. Getting quite a bit of damage with these drones. And it looks like he is going to barely hang on with even number of drones overall. It's not the worst thing in the world. However, the layer is on the way and we've already got speed here. So it's quite rough. Quite, quite rough here for Shao Shui right now. He's going to send all the drones back home, but that's right at the moment when the Lings start to come in. You know, the Overlord sees those drones retreating, so he knows that he has an opportunity there. Running the Lings behind the Mineral Patches. You don't often see it, but I guess that's going to be a good place to take a trade. Now, running up this ramp here, going to take another fight. Ling speed does finally finish, and the flank gets flanked here as more Lings come in from Wave. And Wave is right on the cusp of winning this game so it's funny that this is actually gonna go long he's so so close to winning right now he's even got the spire on the way here he's got one less drone than Shao Shui here but so much more tech and he's just about to kill this hatcher it's so close 180 hp left on that and he just barely saves it if that hatch goes down i think Shao Shui just taps out instantly but he does not allow that to fall and now with just nine drones mining back at home he will be able to put on some counter pressure here but not for long the spire is just about done i think we're actually gonna have to build lings here wave is building lings realizing that he can't just you know stack up larva and hope to pump out a bunch of mutas if he gets overwhelmed by lings here he could just straight up die so he's got to keep building lings and get ready for this defense xiao shui pure Ling production. Maybe he's going to make a drone here. Okay, he's going to go ahead and I think make a, a Eva chamber. Yeah, he has to get Evo eventually. All right, where are we going to go with the, these Lings right now? Is he making drones? No, he's making Lings still. Five more sets of Lings are about to pop out. Counterattack is coming, but 
We're definitely going to have lings in time for that. Three mutas are on the way. He did save up enough larvae to make three mutas here. And I'm going to take this fight on the ramp. It's like we're going to win that as Xiao Shuai, but back at home, some lings managed to make their way into the main. Are we going to get any drone kills here? One kill there. Watch the drone kill count here. Um, let's see. Does he get anything? No. Looks like neither player really getting too much there. I think he was attacking his own. Oh, no. He's attacking the overlord. Okay. So an overlord will go down. We've got ling advantage right now for Shao Shuai. Um, but he's only got a couple of overlords here that can't be targeted. So he can't really build too much until he builds more overlords. And he's got one sunken or one spore colony here. Hmm. This is an awkward situation right now. Very, very awkward. We've only got six drones on the side of wave. Such a low econ game right now. Links are going to try and wrap around, but two mutas are being left at home just to defend. And look at this. He's going to go ahead and take up a position so that Xiao Shui can't really um, efficiently mine here. Another muta at the natural as well. We can't mine off of any of these three patches. He's trying to get the angle so that he can hit this one drone, but it, I think he just barely can't do it. Just barely. Okay, he can hit that one for sure. Oh, that was so close. That one almost went down. Only four HP left on that. Oh, he can hit this now. All right, so he can deny four mineral patches here. That's pretty rough. That is pretty darn annoying here. Oh, I think the links went down, by the way. Um, I don't think any more drone damage was done. But, uh, or no, he brought the links back home. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he didn't, uh, he didn't send the links across the map. Oh, another, another drone goes down here. He is up to 10, though. Um, one thing I'm worried about is this uh, hatchery is pretty low. Really not a lot of HP left on that. So, uh, as the Mutalist count grows here, that could be a real threat. That he just dives on top of that. Or we could go for lings as well. Actually, the ling number is a little bit too high here. I don't think we can fight with lings. Another spore finishes up, so finally we will have full mining here in the main base. Nearly full mining here for wave as well. And the drone goes down. Super annoying. There it is. He's actually going to go for it. Going after the hatchery here. Taking some damage from the spore, but you can see it was just too low. And he loses it. Wow. And we don't even have a lair here. No lair. Here for Shao Shui. He's just going to counterattack with the Lings. Let's see what he can get done. If he kills a bunch of drones, then he could ha still have a chance in this game. But we'll see. We'll see. This is a pretty decent defense. We've got the Mutas on the way back. And the positioning here on the Sunken Colony is really, really good. Um, are we going to get one? We get one. Two drones go down. I can see three drones now. A fourth drone. Yes, we get four drones. So down to just seven. I'm not sure that's enough, but that's a pretty good amount. It does feel like a pretty decent amount. And we're going to restart the hatchery here at the natural. It's just so slowed down at this point. Another drone going to come down here, I guess, for a, a, a spore colony here. Let me go ahead and start that. Moving lings around. Just creating some threats on the map. A second hatchery here in the main for wave. I guess he had the minerals for that, but just doesn't have the larva. So... Wants to go ahead and amp up that larval production. One Ling managing to make it in here. But with the sunken colony, can't really do much. You only get a couple of seconds to hit something. Uh, if the sp sunken colony hits you. Or is attacking you. And he forces the Midas back at least. And that is going to buy time for this spore to finish. And with the spore done here, I guess he can start to mine in the natural now. We have enough drones to do so. And he can actually transfer. One thing that it's very nice to do as the Zerg with the Mutalus is to park your Mutalus right here and just don't allow transfers. Uh, even if you're on one base, as long as you don't allow the Zerg to trans the enemy Zerg to transfer any drones, it really slows down their um, income ramping. Where they're trying to get, you know, more income coming in. 
Um, it, it just slows it down so much by not allowing them to transfer. It cleans up the last couple of links on the map here. And how many mutas do we have? Six. So six, not quite enough to break sunken or to break spores, excuse me. But as if you get a couple more mixed in, and there are two more on the way, we can actually break a spore. There's the spire coming in here. A very interesting location for that. And a third creep colony coming down here. He has three spores. This is good math by Xiao Shui, making sure that he has enough. Um, looks like we're going to go for some snipes here. One drone, two. Trading out for just a little bit of HP on these mutas. It's a fantastic trade. Um, he needs to do this because he is still behind in overall workers. Counterattack is going to come through. Just another four lings making their way up here. Um, but three mutas are on the defensive, so... Can't really make too much out of that. We'll just have to fall away. Fall back here. But he did force the mutalis away from his natural, so... Can start to add more spores here make it harder for the harassment to continue it's like ling's gonna get cleaned up right now and i think i'm gonna speed up a little bit here and we'll slow down again once uh, more stuff starts to happen a few more snipes here over at the natural and the ling's poking in here and there as well um but it's time it's just about time to actually get started here uh, with the next phase of this game a queen's nest immediately i like this Xiao Shui realizing that it's going to be very hard to catch up in our Mutalist count. Because he already had an advantage and now there's uh, a gas running here for uh, Wave. I'm going to slow it down now. Wave is mining here at the natural. So the advantage of having this natural is no longer there. Um, we're even uh, close to parity in terms of the number of drones here another spore gonna come up he's actually got four spores in the main and he's going to hive um so rather than try to match with the mutilus mutilus count here he's gonna finish this spire or this uh, upgrade on the spire and right as the hive finishes he's gonna start his greater spire we'll go to devourers here in order to make up this gap and doing the right thing right now is wave he starts a third base because uh, if we're going for a play like this, there's no chance, there's no shot that we're going to be able to attack um, before that hive and that greater spire is done, plus the morphing time of the devourers. So uh, it's potentially we could see just mass drones pop out here from wave and take this base and put a bunch of sunken or a bunch of spores at all of his bases and then it's really hard even if you win the fight in the air um if there's tons of spores oh man not able to get shots off there the overlord's actually protecting a little bit here he does manage to get one hit but loses two mutas for that <clears throat> a little bit rough there and still the overall drone count of xiao shui is pretty high uh i'm impressed with xiao shui so far managing to keep this a game Despite losing his natural. Um, he's done a really good job here. And now he's starting to pick off more and more mutas. In combination with these spore colonies. This is pretty decent stuff from him. There's the spire. Greater spire on the way. Um, are we going to get... Yeah. Directly on into that play. Adrenal glands. Whoa. We've got ensnare coming up here. And the hive started now for wave. He's starting to transfer some drones over here. I'd love to see him throw down a bunch of spores. And just dare his opponent to come in and attack him. Because when you're on three gas and your opponent's on two, you are going to eventually win. Um, but there's going to be a moment here when devourers are out. And we've got a bunch of cracklings and stuff. That maybe he can break this base. Maybe he can break uh, wave here. So having a bunch of spores just makes it that much harder to break and it means that you're likely going to save that base and eventually you will win um so far none okay there's one coming up here we don't have any upgrades on the links do we know 
it's one armor to one one here for wave so wave gonna have a massive advantage in terms of upgrades he's even got another upgrade on the way here halfway done that second armor makes a huge difference but if we have devours it's really not going to make as much of a difference and six devours on the way that is a ton of devours and he's spending his money really really well here it's funny to see them both at exactly the same number of drones well um some of those drones just disappeared into some buildings here it seems as some more spores get added on he's actually going to add one spore in each base which is nice but i don't think it's quite enough we actually probably need more than that um a lot of scourge are going to be necessary as well three scourge hits to kill a devourer and that's a lot of devourers so we need a lot of scourge um to pick those off and 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 enable the mutalist to actually fight here it comes lings are going to come in first they've got that crack upgrade we don't have a ton whoa that's a lot of scourge coming in here comes that oh my goodness the ensnare is fantastic as well but Another round of Scourge going to come forward here. Can he get all the connections on all of these Devourers? Most of them go down, actually. But the Mutas are not willing to engage right now. We've got five Acid Spores, and there's still a couple of Devourers here. He's actually going to lose the third base. This is a great attack right here from Shao Shui. And this is exactly what I was talking about. That timing, that window of opportunity to break the third is there. And he makes it happen. So this is now a completely even game, I would say, with maybe Shao Shui being in a slight advantage. It's not a massive advantage, but he does have a little bit of that advantage. It's kind of crazy to see him come back like this. But this is kind of what you have to do in ZVZ. If you want to make a comeback from a very detrimental position, you have to take it late. You have to go to that next layer of tech and outplay your opponent. The Defiler Mound is here. Wow. Defiler Mound. We're even going to go to plus three armor. And Hydras are popping out. So he's going Hydra with the Defiler Mound and plus three armor. This seems like a funny combination, but this is exactly what I was talking about. I was like, what do you actually do? <laughs> what What is the right answer here? It's very hard to know. And you can see that Wave is just kind of scratching his head and going, yeah, I mean, I, I guess more upgrades. Yeah, I, armor is good, right? I mean, maybe it's not that good because of devours, but it's still, I mean, probably good, right? I don't know. He's just, he's he seems a little bit lost here as to what he's doing. He's making a defiler. He's got plague on the way. He's adding on double bases. It looks like Josh White gearing up to do the same, but Ling's cracklings are everywhere right now. And... Do they have any upgrades? I'm surprised to see we, uh, that we don't see any crackling upgrades coming. Because crackling upgrades are some of the most efficient, uh, strong upgrades that there are in the game. They're just so, so good. Um, one lane going to make its way into the main here. Will be picked off. But you can just see how strong these are. And he's actually going to start uh, missile attack. Okay, that's actually Shao Shui starting that. So is he going to make... Uh, Hydroden too. Yeah, he is gonna make Hydroden. Pretty funny. Um, Mid is here gonna get caught. They do need to run. Joshua doesn't get the uh, moving shot going there. Will eat some uh, Scourge as well. Losing a couple of Devours to some pairs of Scourge. Oh, some... Uh, uh, not, tri not pairs. Triplet of Scourge, I guess. I'm not really sure what to say about that. Um, trio of Scourge, that's it. Trio. Gonna fly into the main base here. There's only one Spore Colony, and there's plenty of Mutas to actually fight that. Plus, with the upgrade, it does help a little bit. Um, you can engage this with Mutas right now, so... He's gonna have to bring back the Hydras. And the Hydras are gonna be pretty slow. So, we kill the, uh, Spore, and then we can back out. Uh, backing away from this is Wave. Wave not wanting to take that fight right now. That fourth base, or third base, excuse me, going to be denied for, I guess, like a third or fourth time. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, but the third is now up here for Shao Shui, and we need to make some progress if we want to be able to take this game. Lurker upgrade is on the way. Great choice here from Shao Shui. Really fantastic decision-making out of him so far. Another 
Hatchery gets denied here. Are you kidding me? That's like the fifth time now that Hatchery has been denied. Um, looks like he will eventually get this one up unless the Lynx can kill that. Okay, Lynx is not going to go after it. Now, flying into the main base once again. Just a few Hydras here to defend, and they're not well upgraded. Only plus one is done. Plus two is on the way, but these guys have a lot of armor. Um, I think. Anyway, no, these guys have a lot of armor. Excuse me, just one armor here. Fourth base is now up here for Shao Shui. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Starting to mine out in the main. Not so here for Wave. He's just been a little bit slowed down over and over again. And now almost double the amount of drones. It feels like Shao Shui is destined for a victory here. But what can we see from this Hydra Defiler army? It's one of the most efficient uh, armies in the game. How do we not have Crackling? That's crazy. That is crazy not to have Crackling here. Okay, going after some of these Lurkers. He gets two of them right off the bat. Two Lurkers go down immediately. Hydra's running off by themselves. Not a good look. Um, drones trying to be transferred to the fourth base. They are going to get caught, though. Oh, no. Ooh. Those are some huge Acid Spores there. Five, seven Acid Spores on all of these now. The Hydra's are going to come up. That Defiler is really looking for the Plague. And Shao Shui just not going to let him have it. Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. There it is. There's the big plague that we were looking for. Um, is the Defiler here as well? Can he actually go after this? Going after the Mutas here. All of them are going to fall super, super fast. I don't care how many Acid Spores are on there. Um, you're definitely not going to win that fight with Plague being on all those Mutas. And he might get the Plague here as well. Ooh, big Plague there. You'll love to see it. Finally getting some use in ZVZ. And he will finish these off. Like I said, doesn't matter how many acid spores are on these. Look at how slow the mutas are firing. <laughs> kind of hilarious, but... It only takes one shot to kill when you've only got one HP. Lurkers down here. I don't think there's anything to defend the natural, though. If we just attack with Hydras right now... It's going to be very rough to defend. I guess that's a lot of lings that could flank. But, yeah. Lurkers on high ground here. Nothing in the natural. Sunkins and Lings here. Feels like the natural is kind of a, a weak point right now. But is he going to spot that? Is he going to see that? Do we have overload speed here? No. No overload speed. But it's on the way. Once we have overload speed, we can fly in here and gun down the Lurkers with the Mutas. And then potentially just go for the kill on that base. Uh, but for now, he can't really do that. He's just got to kind of sit back here. Where is the Defiler's Mound? We don't have one for Shao Shui right now. So this could be a, a really big problem. Once you have Defiler's, you can drop a Dark Swarm on that. And you just can't break it. Like, you just... You, you can't break it. You got to get, like, uh, Ultras. Or you have to get um, Queens with uh, Brutaling. That's really the only way to do it. So harassing over here on this side. He gets the third base up. He has that third gas running now, finally. Um, not a lot of defense over there, though. Hydras are going to come to defend that, but... You know, Hydras aren't that great against Lings, uh, Cracklings, unless, you know, they have a lot of upgrades. And they do actually have pretty decent upgrades now. So, going to be able to defend the 12 o'clock without too much trouble. Drone up here in the top left. Looks like he was thinking about taking that base, but... Going to think twice about it for now, and... We finally have Overload Speed done, but he's not taking advantage of this moment where he has complete air domination to actually dive on this base. Instead, just running around trying to chase down these Lings that are being, frankly, quite annoying here. Shao Shui doing a good job of making things difficult right now for Wave. Great Lurker here uh, over at this third base, which has been, I mean, it's been denied so many times. It's almost like a meme at this point. It just keeps dying over and over and over again. Lurker containment here at the front. It's a perfect time to go for this base. We've got lurkers here. If you put the lurkers right here and try and just dive in and kill this, I think he can make it happen, honestly. There's a, a big opportunity right now. I think it's being kind of overlooked here by Wave, but it's so hard to tell where you're at in a game like this. It's really impossible uh, or near impossible to, to tell what's the right move at this point in the game in such uncharted territory. It seems like 
Wave has decided the natural might be the best target, but look at how many lurkers and hydras are here. Just not going to end up working out for him. He has to back away. Um, Scourge going to come forward and kill the Overlord. That's a pretty funny target. It's like going after the Observer uh, in a ZVP, except there's like a million of them. <laughs> and they're just like 100 minerals. Um, and you keep building them the entire game. So it, it feels like a, a tough task to deny vision um, on the Overlords. Oh god, the Plague should be there, but... Looks like he doesn't have energy for that. There's a nice plague. Okay. Some good value out of that. And the frontal position here, being so far forward right now, as Wave is giving him a lot of advantage. He's able to move forward and get plagues off, whereas, you know, there's there's just no space to move for Xiao Shuai to run back away from this army, whereas there's plenty of space for... Um, wave to actually get out of the way here okay he looks to be moving towards this area i wish he had a dark swarm over here if he had a dark swarm right here this is almost unbreakable and then you know you can attack this with uh with no worries at all you can just go for it because your opponent's going to spend so much resources trying to break through this uh that it's nearly impossible it's it's nearly impossible to um, take a bad trade at that point. He's going to come in and try to kill off some of these Hydras. He's almost broken through there. He just needs an uh, uh, Overlord over here. Wait, where'd the where'd the Lurkers go? Oh, they, they unburrowed and backed up. All right. That's interesting. Just Dark Swarm it. Just Dark Swarm it. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, he's going to back up now. Um, Looking for a Plague. Not going to get it. It's, it's, again, it's just so hard to know what to do here. He comes in uh, almost in range of that Defiler, realizing that that's probably got Plague. It doesn't actually have Plague. There's no Plague yet. So he could dive this Defiler and just kill it for free and not even risk getting Plague. But he doesn't know if there's Plague or not, so he's just got to be really careful here. Uh, Wave setting up like a massive contain right now on four base. Uh, that's just hilarious to even say that. Um, in the context of ZVZ, but great plague there on a bunch of these lurkers as they come forward And it looks like Xiao Shuai gonna break out of this some plagues going down on the army as it moves forward The mutas are gonna be kind of baited in here. Let's put a few lurkers over here But without Dark Swarm on top of that you can't actually hold I feel like there's been a real missed opportunity in this game from wave and the fact that he just hasn't been um, throwing down Dark Swarms when he should He's really favoring the plagues here could come down into this position. If you put one Dark Storm here and you drop a bunch of Lurkers right there, it's almost impossible to break because you can't plague Lurkers once they're underground. Um, Shao Shuai is starting to move forward and it's kind of been Wave reacting to Shao Shuai here and he's not doing a great job of reacting either. Loses a Defiler there without casting any ability and another one. So throwing away quite a few Defilers here. Now he's going to push forward with Lurkers on onto Lurkers that are already burrowed, which is never a great choice. Running forward here with the Hydras, trying to push uh, everything back. Dark Swarms do go down. So the Lurkers here are actually going to shred these Hydras. And there's no, um, there's nothing, uh, there's, there's nothing to spot here. What are we doing right now? Lurkers just run forward and get absolutely annihilated. Uh, yeah, there's the, uh, 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 there's the uh, OBS here. There's the Overlords coming up, but that was a little bit too late. We got three Lurkers here and they're just crushing face right now on these lurkers that are trying to run up oh my goodness that last shot i don't know if that was double damage or what but that killed like four lurkers with one hit i just making their way up here into the top left hand corner we're gonna have some reinforcements coming up this direction but i think the hatchery is dead with plus two damage it's nearly a sure thing and it does go down plus three is done here for the hydras uh, on the side of wave, but losing that base is brutal. Brutal damage. Hydras are starting to move out in all different directions. Now wave is getting a little bit overwhelmed here, I feel. He's trying his best to trade with uh, his Hydra Lurker army, but oh, if he snipes this Defiler, that would be massive. Okay, he does get the Defiler snipe, but Xiao Shui is going to slide by over on this side. And this is just madness. Look at all the overlords on this side of the map. That's crazy. I mean, a plague on that would be insane. 
um, like right here, plague all of these right there, and then just start to pick them off one by one with Hydra. You can get a massive supply block going. It'd be really, really difficult to, to handle. This base is very undefended right now. Really need some more units over there. Um, Lurker stack pretty big here in the center of the map, but it's not really helping Shaoshui uh, anywhere right now. Um, he could actually come down and hit this base super easily, but he's not really paying attention to it right now. He's actually trying to focus down this army here, and he's not bringing his lurkers forward. This is a great position. You can see Xiao Shui has a lot more uh, knowledge and, and understanding of this game um, than Wave, because he knows that, like, okay, I need to take a position. He takes a position, and then he leverages it. Uh, much better than what Wave has been doing. Now, we are going to lose a bunch of drones down here. Um, it's kind of a funny fight here with Lurk, or Hyde just spitting at each other under Dark Swarm. Nothing ever happens. Um, this will be cleaned up. This base will survive. Fresh base has been set up over here, so we're on even bases once again. Finally, some Lurker's going to come down here and help to clear out. But this Lurker Hydra army can easily kill this base in the top left, and... A wave is just not paying attention to it. Meanwhile, I mean, what is he doing right now? He's really not uh, making progress anywhere. Maybe he needs to go down to the bottom left and actually shut down that base. He has enough lurkers to do so. He could shut down multiple bases at the same time, actually. He could kill six and bottom left. Uh, but he's not doing either right now. Dark Storm comes down. It's not really going to help too much. But actually, there's nothing... Um, Revealing these lurkers. So if he had like a couple more lurkers here, he could have actually stopped this entire attack uh, Just unfortunately did not have that ready dude. He could break both of these right now. wave What are you doing lurkers here lurkers here hydras defilers kill these bases right here right now? But he's just not making it happen. He's trying to defend this nidus over here when the hatchery is already dead here He comes gonna kill this base finally trade, but he could kill two. He could deny mining because there's almost no mining left over here. We're getting very low. So he's going to kill this base. But this will give Xiao Shui time to uh, activate some defenses over here. And, uh, you know, stop him from killing off 6 o'clock. So, again, a big opportunity missed. It's just down to the matchup being really, really tough. Uh, and kind of unknown here at this point. Hydra's Defiler is moving through the middle of the map. He's got Plague ready. He's got... Def uh, Defilers for the um, Dark Storm. He doesn't use Dark Storm, but he gets some great plagues going, and the Hydras will be forced back. Go for six. There's only two Hydras there. Wave could absolutely win this game. And I think he actually will win now. 140 supplied to 78. And it seems like Xiao Shui doesn't have any more tricks left. He's going to come over here, maybe try to assault this base. Uh, the six o'clock, and we might see a trade back again. Like, we might see both players trade here. 6 o'clock for 12 o'clock. Runs up. Lurkers on high ground with the uh, Dark Swarm here. That's going to kill everything eventually. Um, and he's going to send everything back to try and save. All right. This is a good play. Drop the two Lurkers. Uh, three Lurkers with the Dark Swarm. And then just go for the, the defense here of 12 o'clock. And if he kills a base and doesn't allow his base to go down, I guess he wins. Yeah, there's not enough here for Xiao Shui. He gets a plague. Pretty decent there on some of these... Uh, Hydras. Anything is good right now. Um, Lurker here on the high ground. Going to help out quite a bit. Um, but eventually that will be picked off. There it is. It goes down. Can he actually break this? That's a lot of Lurkers on high ground. There's no Dark Swarm though to save them. Spreading out the Hydras right now. He's going to finish off the last few Lurkers here. And as he does, I think he manages to win this game. It's really, really close. But I think he's just barely managed to do it. Shashwai really doesn't have much left. Only 55 supply. He's got no really good mining right now. Only at this base here in the center right. And although he's managed to put together a few more lurkers, I think one good plague, if if he like unburrows and a plague goes down on any of these, uh, that is just going to evaporate. And the position has been reset up here once again um, for... I can't even remember his name now. Wave. That's it. Wave is going to win this game, I think. He's so close to doing it. He's been close to doing it the entire game, honestly. This is pretty funny. You know that uh, Irradiate will kill 
uh, a Hydra, but if you make it into a, a Lurker Egg, then the Lurker Egg will spawn and it'll have full HP. Same thing goes for Plague, actually. Although the eggs are very vulnerable with only two hit points. Um, if they get jumped on, they're just going to die super quick. So more Lurker's going to spawn up here. He will be able to burrow. And that should be an unbreakable position. We don't have a Defiler out here. I would say like a Defiler is such a good choice at this point. We've still got some gas. Uh, we're just very low on minerals. With enough of a spread though, if we get Hydra spread out all in a big concave here and attack this number of Lurkers, I think we can break it. It should be breakable uh, here for Wave. But he's not going to be too hasty. He's going to just take his time. He's got two armor upgrade advantage right now, which is absolutely massive. And a third armor is about to finish. Uh, it doesn't matter if you get plagued, but it definitely helps to uh, survive the Lurker Spines and Hydralis damage while you're trying to break a position. A lot of Hydras here in the main. Looks like he maybe never rallied this or what? I have no idea why there's so many Hydras up here. Um, that's kind of funny, though. Funny to see that. It would be hilarious to lose a game and then go back to your main and realize you've got, like, 24 Hydras sitting here. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but... I mean, he's still alive. We've still got, uh, we've still got bases here for Zhao Shui. He can still transfer workers. It's possible. Can send these workers over here to to six. Um, there's not a lot of money left over at six, but you no. Know, could try to hang in there. Oh my gosh, the plague on two defilers. Yikes. I mean, have you ever seen that before? That's kind of nuts, actually. Let me let me. <laughs> we'll take a screenshot of that. That'll probably be our uh, thumbnail. You guys have never seen me take a screenshot um, for a thumbnail in a cast before, but there you go. Some behind-the-scenes action here. <laughs> 159 supply to 68. This game is basically over, as you can see. We're about to tap out here. I will speed it up a little bit for you guys. Let's see what happens. The final battle, are we going to get it here soon, or... We're just going to sit and wait forever. Looks like more and more Defilers coming out here. Drop is on the way, but it's just way too late um, for Xiao Shuai. There's really no meaningful way that he could get a drop going and deal any serious damage. So he's going to sit here in mine on one base uh, till the end of this game. And I think we're not even going to see um, an attack in here. There's no real way to break this, right? With the Dark Swarm. There we go. Queens are finally going to come out. So Queens are like the ultimate final boss of the Zerg army in ZVZ. They are like so damn good at these late stages when you've got all these Lurkers. Because you can easily have an Overlord here clone like eight Queens, come and kill every single Lurker. And then you just... You just reign supreme. You can just fly in. Or you could you can actually just crackling. Just go mass crackling. That's actually probably the best composition. Mass crackling with a couple of defilers and a buttload of queens. I think I've just solved it. I've solved ZVZ late ga game, guys. That's it. You heard it here first. Ooh, the plague. Did it actually land? I think it did. Yeah, he gets plagued. Bunch of lurkers get plagued here. And some uh, mutas just coming in to harass and be annoying. Gonna kill some drones. GG is called finally at the end. Um, not sure what that means, but Shao Shui does tap out. Yeah, like I was saying, guys, Queens with Cracklings, I think is like the ultimate late game because, uh, and with the Dark Swarm, because you can, you know, they have a whole bunch of Hydras, they have a whole bunch of Lurkers and the Defiler. And what you do is you just clone all the queens kill all the lurkers and then uh defiler like dark swarm ling just annihilates everything else absolutely annihilates everything else and you've got plenty of minerals uh in these late game situations to just pump mass mass crackling they're so damn good so damn effective um that's probably you know at the very very latest stages going to be the best composition but 
we saw some interesting stuff here today, right? We saw the Devourer trans transition almost work for Xiao Shuai. It did work in at least killing the space and denying it over and over again. The late game, like Lurker, um, Defiler, uh, Hydra control was not as good as Wave. And you can see that Wave, um, even though he missed a lot of opportunities and he lost his bases quite a few times, he did end up uh, overall macroing a little bit better than Xiao Shuai and making a few better moves that end up winning this game. But this is one of those diamond in the rough games, guys. This is just kind of crazy late game ZVZs that we don't get a lot of practice in. Uh, even if you're someone who plays Zerg and you play ladder uh, every single day, you're only going to get one of these games, you know, maybe once a year, maybe twice a year, potentially. Depends on your play style. But uh, that's out of thousands of games. Honestly, thousands and thousands. So uh, it's fun to, to take a look at. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I'm probably going to make more uh, of these types of videos where I just check out late game ZVZ. Um, it doesn't really matter who the players are, but uh, as long as they're like S tier players, it's just very interesting to see what they end up doing and how they end up getting into these situations is cool to see as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.